Hello and thank you for joining Content to Know TV, the shows that host authors from many countries, many languages, in order to learn a bit more to understand their publishing journey. We're very, very happy to have with us Yaron Ziv, Professor Yaron Ziv. Hello, Yaron. Hello. First of all, thank you for being here in our TV show again. But this time, maybe for the first time, you are talking and revealing about coaching the Gestalt way. What exactly does it mean? Well, as you said, this is really a very special and unique moment because uh, the combination of coaching and Gestalt is very new concept. For people the, that are seeing us in India and elsewhere, let's talk a bit about Gestalt. What yes, exactly yes. is this method? I will try to explain in very few words what is Gestalt therapy, and then I will go a little bit about what coaching, and then we'll see the combination, because this is a coin of a concept that we create the first time in India and hopefully in elsewhere in the world. So this is very, uh, I'm very excited. <laughs> I'm very excited. Uh, when we talk about Gestalt therapy, we talk about a very experiential method of working with people. Gestalt is a German word that comes and says it's the whole frame. Gestalt in German means the organized whole frame, meaning to say that uh, as we think, first of all, let's talk about thinking, we think in Gestalt method. For example, if I say to you, uh, you know, you have bold hair, and you have bold hair, uh -huh. right? The automatic association, oh, he looks like Yul Brynner. <laughs> you are the king of Siam. <laughs> So this is proximity mm -hmm. that we do in order to have association because we think in concept of gestalts. And if there is a missing part, there is, some, there is a tendency to complete it. Let me tell you a story, which is a really nice story, but uh, it, will never be, it will never be recognized as the origin of gestalt therapy, but it, it, it tells exactly, Please. exactly what gestalt is. There was a story about a beggar in New York City. You know, you know beggars in the subways and beggars in the street. There was a story of a beggar in, in, in New York City sitting on 42nd Street, and probably you've been there, so you know it's a very hectic place, yeah. all the musical Broadway. And, you know, sometimes when, when the beggars, they go to the world, they pass, you look at the house and you see millions of dollars. And you say, what's going on? But this beggar was... A Gestalt therapist without knowing there was a Gestalt, a gestalt therapy. What did, what did he do? He would sit in the, on, on the stairs, you know, in the, in the corner, yes. and he would take quarters. And he would take quarters and he would put them as a round. And he would take quarter out, one quarter out. What happened was the people walked in the street and they looked at the round of the quarter, but the, but the, the circle was not complete. Okay. They could not go on and just look at that. They took quarter out of their pocket, filled the circle, and continued on. When they went on, he took the quarter and put it in his pocket, and the circle was not complete again. Wow. This is Gestalt. We tend to complete things in our head in order to make it complete. Another example, wow. for example, if I hear for somebody who is very egocentric. Mm -hmm. And I hear that he volunteers in the uh, Red Cross. This two information do not go together. How could he be so egoistic and still volunteer? What I do in order to complete the things in my head, I say, oh, he must have gained something out of it. He does not volunteer for nothing. This is the missing coin. Exactly, this is the missing coin. And how do you combine this method into the coaching in India. And then, uh, before we go to go, the coaching, let me complete one thing. Please. This was the thought, the concept of thinking. Now, Fritz Perls, the founder of Gestalt Therapy, took the same concept and applied it into the therapy. When he said that we have a complete personality, although some of the parts are in the light and some of the parts are in the shadow. So we are still complete, but we are not aware of it as, as we are not aware of those denied parts of those suppressed parts there there is the shadow the purpose of gestalt therapy is to give new birth 
to those denied parts, to those suppressed parts, in order to have the complete personality living in harmony and well-being, a, a balanced personality. And that's what we do in Gestalt therapy. We look and we search for those <laughs> surprised parts, for example, the anger or the sadness or the uncompleted bereavement process, and we dig. It's like your mental archaeological digging, and we get all those events that happened in the childhood, and we gave vivid and uh, experiment to this in order to make it aware and to make it complete. Now, the every therapy and every coaching, here is how coaching it in, wants to help people to get results. Coaching came into uh, the world because people were disappointed from a lot of therapies that just brought awareness with no results. People said, I pay a lot of money and I don't see any change in my behavior. Here comes the coaching profession and says, I will teach you how to get results. Comes from basketball, by the way. Coaching, the first coaches were basketball players, like we have here in Israel and we have elsewhere in the world. And they said they are result-oriented method. I'm going to help you to organize your life so you will get results. You want to better your relationship? I'm not digging into the past, what happened to you, <clears throat> but I'm going to help you how to better communicate. I'm going to help you how to organize yourself. You want to get better in business? You want to be more effective? As a coach, I will walk you through so you achieve your goals. However, and this is the new thing, coaching used to be, for, and still is, a very cognitive process of working with people. The coach asks the coachee many questions, and ask more cognitive about values and, and, into, and interpreting of values and implementing into his life. It's a very cognitive process. What I found in my research and working with people that real change happens out of an experience. Gestalt methods puts every coaching process into experiential process. And you can see the change while the process is happening during the session. And that's the most amazing thing. It's not a cognitive thinking process, and maybe the coachee will be able to implement the awareness into action. The result is happening in the here session. and now during the session. You've been in so many years, very, very unique. I would even say a pioneer in India engaging these two methods. Please share with us an example that you said, Eureka, it works, the Gestalt and the coaching combined <clears throat> together. I can, give you, I can give you a very recent uh, example that I just received from one, one of my trainees, uh, the coach that he used to work for a long, long time, and uh, with his client, a business firm, very well-known business person, and uh, he got into some troubles with his business, wanted to expand, and then got stuck. He could not expand his businesses, and they got very frustrated because of the fantasy and the reality did not match together. Now, what the coach does is, of course, regular coaching, work cognitively, and is looking for the obstacles, looking for the hazards, looking for the belief systems that block this person for expanding. Using the gestalt experimental work, and I quote, because that's what he wrote to me in WhatsApp, says that his coachee, his coachee, after the session says, all the time I was aware of it, this time I experienced in my guts. And the most, when the moment I experienced in my guts, there is no fear, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna overcome my fear. And you could see, and the, I'm, I'm quoting my, my, my trainee, he says, you could see the belief and the, 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 the confidence that his coachee got during the session and there was only a, a moment when he got out of the session jumping into the unknown field in order to overcome his fear and to expand his business. And you know, that's amazing second, if you could share what was the experience that he practically felt? How was it, so people can imagine when you're coming to their seminars and for your trainings in India and around the world, what, what, what happened on stage? What happened was, and this is using Gestalt method, when the, uh, when the coachee, his coachee talked about the fear, 
in regular coaching, you say, okay, let's talk about what could, how could you overcome the, key, the fear? No. He said, using what we call a metaphor, he told him, okay, if you have to have a metaphor or a visual symbol that describes your fear, what would it be? And then this person came with a metaphor that said, the fear is like a black hole. And then the coach said, okay, so now let's do something else. Let's get into the black hole. Become the black hole. In Gestalt therapy, there is no it. There is always a vivid. So become the black hole and ask him to speak and to give the monologue of the black hole. I am the black hole and I am all the fears that you got. And then an awareness came. And I am the sentences that you've heard from your father. Nothing will come out of you. Nothing will come out of you. And it was implemented in my system. It was in my skin. And when he spoke as the black hole, he remembered an event when he was five years old, when he was four years old, that his father used to ridicule him with his hand, said, nothing will come to you, got out of you. You are a big zero and ridiculed and criticized him. And as he got out of this, and then the coach said, okay, now stop becoming the big hole and go back to yourself and talk to the big hole. Have a dialogue with the big hole. Changing seats, what mm -hmm. we call the empty chair technique by Gestalt therapy. And then he says, I am not what my father did. I am not what my father said. I am not nothing. I am something. And he started crying and he said with all this force. When he got out of the session, he said, no, no, no. No big hole anymore in my life. And everything turned into a total experiment. That moment when he became the big hole and he got in touch experientially, not cognitively, experientially with these sentences, with those belief system, and he could contradict, and he could give a back fight. Everything changed in him. He transformed. And it happened. That's the beauty of Gestalt therapy. On stage. On stage, here and now, quickly, profound, and effective. The dates that people can engage and meet you in India in one of your international seminars that you're giving, combining the Gestalt and the coaching. We're going to have uh, the uh, seven weeks training on the 24th of September till uh, the 30th of September. And we're going to have <clears throat> the second from the 1st of, uh, 1st of October, sorry, 1st of October till the 7th of October in Gorgao, India. And then we're going to have another one in uh, Mumbai on February, February 2018. That's great. So we are really getting into having a new world for the coaching community and for the therapist community by making this combination a very unique and profound one. First of all, I want to thank you so much for this encounter. Thank you so much for interviewing me and making Kongestalt methods well known to the world. Thank you so much. And if you have any questions regarding the combination of Gestalt and coaching, please don't hesitate in the variety of the social networks or simply give a phone call to Professor Yaron Ziv or even in our website. Thank you so much for joining Content on Our TV.